Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'll discuss that how can you learn better? How can you get good with technology? And I'm going to share with you my experience. And this is quite precious to me because I wasted a lot of time in the beginning when I was learning about, uh, you know, PHP and programming in general and many technologies. So and then later I found many people who were you know more smart and the way they learn things were highly different and after learning from them how to learn i started practicing those things in my life and i realized my efficiency just reached so high like these days if i have to learn something i learn it very quickly and i don't waste time so there are a lot of things which goes wrong and which noobs do wrong all the time which i notice in this video i'll just clear all the points for you so you don't make those mistakes which i did or many people make so the very first thing is most people believe that uh this is a common idea all right that in order to learn some technology you should create a project and just get things done so for example if you want to learn about web development then uh, you just decide to create some website some crud app or any website okay food ordering website and what you do is you just somehow you just make it work all right if you make it work well you did something so most people you know promote this idea that go practical you know just create something and you will learn now this is something which i used to believe in too i used to believe that yeah you should pick some project and just create it and uh, this is this is the proper way of learning right no okay so later in life i realized that when you do this what you actually do is you most of the time just figure out things from stack overflow and you just you know somehow you don't learn about technology you just learn the parts which is needed for you to just complete some project which you have in your head and this is not a good approach of course you need to create a project eventually in order to you know understand any technology like in order to practice something all right but you have to first learn about concepts of whatever technology you are working on okay i'll give you some examples but let me just uh, clear some points so one more mistake which every noob do is that they watch lots of videos and i already discussed this i'm going to say it again whether you like it or not videos are a waste of time you should never watch videos in order to learn anything yes video might can help you but you need to understand that just learning something is not what you have to do you also should focus on learning things properly okay so you might learn some technology by watching some video playlist uh for you know for that time but later you might end up on some technology for which there is no video available so you have to get prepared to read docs or read anything in general okay so because people who learn uh, tech, I see there are lots of them who actually are not capable of reading docs or capable of reading in general. There are so much, so many people who just know how to consume a video and they really don't know how to read something. And this is a big problem. So when you are learning about any technology, you have to learn how to read and how to basically this is a part of learning. Okay, you're learning how to learn. And this is something which I did. If you're an app absolute beginner maybe okay maybe you might watch some videos but later you know once you start understanding basics of computers like how to install some programs and things and how basic programming work then i think you should just jump on docs docs is always best everything else is bullshit if you go to a blog so just focus on where where is the source of knowledge okay where all of this is coming from it is coming from docs and no matter how badly the docs is written you have to learn from the docs okay because that's the most authentic place to learn also this is like a skill all right you have to learn how to read manuals this is your skill which you need if you don't know how to do this then you know i don't know like how you are going to survive in real world okay so videos is absolute waste of time i even recommend you to you know in somehow if you can you know get a connection which is slower where you cannot you know just stream any video just go for it that's a really good environment to learn something you you just get a slow internet where you cannot stream any video uh, i i started like this okay I, I used to download pdfs and learn all right 
So for example, if you want to learn about C programming, just download GCC manual in your local computer. Uh, that's it. Like uh, it, it's, it's a complete guide of learning entire C programming. Now the problem what happened is that real resource these days, of course, like uh, they do not get marketed. Okay. So for example, uh, these days people only see what get marketed. So uh, if you don't, even if you Google about like, I want to learn, um, for example, Python, you don't get Python docs. All right. And Python docs is like the best to learn Python. Python docs are really nicely written, but unfortunately, you know, even search engines don't give you the right source and it's not really hard to find the right source. For example, most of you cannot tell where to learn the actual POSIX shell. Um, you know, like if you want to learn about shell programming and not the bash programming, shell programming, POSIX shell, most of you cannot even find the actual true source. Like where should you go and, you know, find the complete guide of it. So try it if you can. So the funny thing, and these days you can use chat GPT to get actual source actually. So you don't really have to work hard. Or if you reject chat GPT for some reason, most people, you know, don't like using chat GPT. So you can find it by yourself too. So again, so don't watch videos. This is the key because watching videos is just consuming. You, you think that you're learning, but it, it's highly depending on like the, you know, who, uh, the creator of the video. And most people just, they, they just, uh, show a little bit and you they, they make you feel that you are learning but in actually you don't even in my videos if you think okay my videos is mostly about some ideas or just uh, for inspiration okay so you get inspired to learn all right it's never about learning okay I, I might try to show you so most of the time when i watch video it's mostly because i'm too lazy to just uh, run some program by myself so if i want to explore about for example hugo but i don't want to install hugo I just want to see like how people use it and what kinds of things they do. So yeah, I, I watch video. Now I'm not saying all kinds of videos are bad. Actually, there are some exceptions. So if the video is not um, content, then you can watch it. So for example, if there is some talk uh, in some Python conference or you know any technology conference, Lisp conference, Emacs conference, then uh, those talks are actually fun to watch. Okay, I don't watch it to learn most of the time. But you know, it's a, it's, it's fun. You, you enjoy it. All right. It's a real content. There are some videos which explain concepts and I will recommend you to watch. So for example, uh, there is a really nice networking playlist by Ben Eater. So it uh, visualize things in a really nice way. Three blue, one brown have a lot of nice videos to explain some concepts. But again, you have to prepare yourself to learn any concept from books because in the end of the day, uh, all of this is coming from books. Okay. So even researchers who, you know, create all these technologies starts with some research papers. So, uh, if you're not capable of, you know, just learning from some text resource, then you cannot get videos. For everything, all right. You have to keep this in mind that there is a limit. You're limiting yourself. All right. You, you, you might learn something from video at one point, but later you're going to get stuck because you don't have capability to read and you have to create the capability to read. This is really important, which most people fail. And uh, I don't know what. So this is one point. Okay. Docs and all the other thing is that practice. Okay. So I already gave you and discussed like the tools versus concept. Okay. So concept is something which you have to understand and tools is something which you have to practice. Now, when it comes to tools, you don't really so it's basically uh, goes down uh, how much you are using it. Okay. So if you're using some tool, you are going to get good. So one of my friend, actually what he, he do is he is actually quite good with learning anything. So what, uh, what is his approach? So for example, if he's learning about, um, some technology like Python, for example, so first he used to read the entire docs to just know what kind of functionality Python can do. Okay. So for example, he's learning about multi threading or multi processing. So he's, um, he learned like, okay, so from the docs, so I can do inter-process communication like this or that. Okay. These are the functionality. So basically you have to get aware of what features some program is providing. And this is really important. So this is why you should just read the docs, like, uh, just not, not in um, order to make some project just to explore the technology. Okay. These things are something I can do with this tool. And this is how this tool is working and all like whatever the docs is uh, exposing about the program. So once you read it, 
then he what he do is he write some programs basically write some uh, projects and this is basically to you know explore that tool and uh, uh, this is it like okay so writing one project or two projects is you know so i have seen like so many people who just repeat repeat the same thing over and over uh, for example most front end developer they just uh, do the same thing over and over they do not get good with it, with things there are so many people but his approach is really nice so he first read the docs he create one project two projects and then he just get bored of it and try something else some other technology okay so this is something also you have to keep in mind whatever you're learning and doing you, you should not just stuck into one loop or one small bubble okay so for example when i started learning i was wasting too much time on css um you know most people think that how how can i learn all this and that the point is this you have to learn how to learn some concept you just have to understand the concept of some program and then once you understand the concept you don't really have to know everything about it you can figure out on uh, in real time for example if you know about ytdlp and some basic functionalities okay you don't have to know everything about it you should you should just know how i can figure out any flag or how i can you know read the docs and what what is the true source of all of, all of this okay so yeah these were my tips and uh, i hope these these tips help you and yeah many people are these days commenting about my english and i'm trying my best but uh, i i don't know all right so thanks for watching this audio audio